Developing right now, new details just into our newsroom after a triple shooting at a 7-Eleven in Dania Beach. Two people were pronounced dead on the scene, including a 12-year-old boy. Local 10 News reporter Syra Onward joins us live from the scene. And Syra, I know you have the very latest on what deputies are now calling a murder-suicide. How tragic. Really tragic, Christy and Alexis. Deputies have been out here all night, all morning, investigating outside this Dania Beach 7-Eleven. You can see they're still here now, though. A much smaller presence than we saw earlier this morning. Really disturbing accounts from the people who were there to witness this just horrible shooting. So far, uh, detectives say that none of these victims seem to have known each other or are connected in any way. At around 1114 last evening, Broward County Regional Communications received a report of a shooting inside the business located at 800 Sterling Road in Dania Beach. Cleanup underway after three people are shot at this Dania Beach 7-Eleven. Witnesses say the first bullet fired outside. That victim would be rushed to the hospital. He was just chilling in his car, minding his business. Pow. Maximo Limas describing the late night shooting scene at this 7 Eleven on Sterling Road in Dania Beach. Limas was working at the taco shop inside the gas station and convenience store. The first person he shot in the van happened outside, the rest just happened inside. According to Broward Sheriff's Office, they got a call around 11.15 last night. Deputies and fire rescue responded and found three people who had been shot. Two of them were pronounced dead on the scene and paramedics took a third person to a nearby hospital. Witnesses tell us the first victim, the one taken to the hospital, was a man who was sitting inside his van when the shooter, also a man, shot him in the neck. Then the shooter entered the 7-Eleven. He's walked in the inside of shooter. That's when witnesses tell us he opened fire on a child, a boy who at the time was buying ice cream. He just killed himself. Lima says the shooter then takes his own life. Broward homicide detectives taping off the crime scene throughout the night and early morning, blocking traffic to the street as they investigate the deadly scene. So again, right now, Bro Broward Sheriff's deputies say there's no apparent connection between these three people who were shot here overnight. Uh, that man who was rushed to the hospital was last reported to be in critical condition. The sheriff's office is not releasing the identities of any of the victims. They have not yet released the identity of the shooter or said if they've determined his motive. That is very latest live here in Dania Beach. Syra Anwar, Local 10 News.